Bella. Welcome to Bella Uncinetto. I'm Christina, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. Well, sort of. <laughs> if you do, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. We are in the yarn library today, and this is why I'm glad that you're with me, but also kind of nervous because I have not organized this room since I did the inventory with Sam uh, over at Memphis Make. She helped me do uh, inventory of my yarn. I have been keeping up with it. I have one box of yarn that I have not entered in and the yarn that Sam sent me for my birthday. Those are the only things I haven't entered. I haven't gotten a lot of yarn since then, but like I have entered everything else, which I'm really proud of myself for <laughs> because I was like, we're going to do all this and then I'm never going to keep up with it, but I think I've done pretty well. So anyway, I'm going to do a slow pan. So if you get motion sick, uh, maybe not watch this part because I'm going to move the camera around um, so that you can see everything. And then, uh, yeah, you can judge me or not or whatever, but, um, just in pulling everything out and trying to get everything accounted for, I have not tried to reorganize everything. Um, I have been in here, um, but it is not a, it is still not a workable space. Things are put away for the most part, but there are things all over the floor. My cat has come in here. And tried to jump on things. I can tell because things are knocked over that weren't knocked over before. Uh, so, anyway, here we go. Are we ready? Let's see. How am I going to do this? All right. So, this is the doorway. Oh, sorry. Please, if you get motion sick, do not watch this part. So, this is the door here. And then... Over here, this is supposed to be a kitchen island, but like there's a bag here that's got all of my Leafer Co. yarn um, and hooks. I have to separate those. And then up here, there's more um, Hanks and items like books and notions and things like that. And then down here, I have um, in these bins on the shelf. I have Hobby Lobby used to sell, I don't know if they do anymore because I'm, I'm not there, but you can see my hand. They have the, the round like mini cakes. So I have some of those and then a small scrap bin, some books down on the very, very bottom and buttons and things that are too big to fit in some of my things uh, that I have to hold my buttons. And then, okay, another slow pan around. This um, has been thoroughly cleaned, but uh, in the States, I used it to hold my shoes. Um, and it didn't make sense in my room, so I have it here. <coughs> but it's got polyfill and other little things in it. There are some empty spaces um, as well. Felt and other things in here. But there's some empty spaces that I'm hoping that I can fill up while I'm organizing up here. Um, all this yarn is accounted for, but it's not um, put away. <laughs> and then these are the squares that I got from Marlene um, because I'm still trying to figure out what to do with them. So I have them just sitting there, but I have them out so that it's a reminder of what that I need to do something with them. All right, I'm going to switch sides here so that I can take you around the rest of the room. All right, so over here, this is my cotton cabinet. All of these um, have cotton or they're cotton blends of some sort. And let me see if I can take this stuff off here. These are shawls and things that I was gifted and I'm, I really want to find a place to put them um, but yeah, this is my cotton cabinet. Again, all of this stuff has been inventoried. I just don't have a set place um, to put some of the things. Like there's some things that are on the floor 
um, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, and I don't have space in here to put them. So I don't, I don't know what we're going to do, but there's that. Let me just, there we go. I guess these were hanging on there and it got a little, I don't want to put them on the floor because inevitably Nero tries to lay in them and then they're covered in cat fur. Um, all right. So down here. These are containers of yarn. So over here I have cotton. This box is the cinnamon stitches box that I got, the mystery box. That has not been inventoried. And then over here, are these bags, these are things that I had whips in and then I just never cleaned the yarn out of. <laughs> so there's that. And then all the way down here, I don't, don't want to drop it. Sorry guys. Um, to move it where you can see it okay so this red bin this has bamboo this blue bag is <clears throat> the color changing chameleon yarn uh it had a smell to it for so long that i kept it separated from all the rest of my yarn because i'm very very sensitive for smells so i didn't want it to touch anything so it stayed in that bag um because i couldn't touch it while it had a smell and it doesn't have a smell anymore but um, I haven't put it, I haven't put it away. All right, pan up and up to the cabinet and around. Okay, so I have this black cart here. This is like a crafting cart or just any kind of cart. Um, I did unbox the um, Big Twist party before um, and some of the other items on there. These are bins that have notions, ribbon, all kinds of things in them that I don't have a dedicated spot for right now. So that cart um, really comes in handy because I can just put it there. As you see, I put things to organize them and then I never actually organize them. All right, so then if we close this, you can see <laughs> my yarn cubes. I have, I got a really good <laughs> deal on these there was a, a lady that was leaving <clears throat> a family they were moving to japan for pcs and they were downsizing because in japan you have even less space than you do in italy um and so she had one of these in each of her daughter's rooms so it actually goes it goes down to the ground and then it goes almost all the way up to the ceiling so i did get on a ladder and inventory that stuff with Sam. <laughs> so that was uh, entertaining to say the least, but I don't want to put anything all the way up on top of those shelves because I'll, I'll never, I'll never go back to it. Like whatever I put up there will stay there forever because with my balance, I do not want to be on sh ladders um, as much as possible. I don't want to be on them. So then we're going to go back down down on the floor here there are some baskets there's a basket here with some comfy cotton and some yarn that I got from Amanda at obsessive crochet lady and then you can't see it there we go there's some more yarn it has been inventoried but it is not um, it's not put away uh, then over here we're gonna come back up Sorry for all the movement, you guys. You guys wanted, several of you said you wanted a yarn room tour. Well, here you go. That's my microphone. Let me move that out of the way. This cabinet um, has all manner of bags and things on it. Shawls, blankets. I just, I don't know where to put them. Um, because I don't want them to get messed up. So I try to protect them which I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but um, then at my bags here, um, I want to, I was thinking last night, I was talking to Amanda actually, and um, I was saying, well, maybe if I take all of my bags um, and put them somewhere, because I buy all these bags, like I got this bag in Paris, I got this bag in Paris, um, this one, Sam sent me, <laughs> Um, and I have other bags that <clears throat> I've gotten and I was like, I want to use them as project bags or notion bags, but 
guys, I don't do that many whips. I don't have that many whips at a time. So I was like, I really don't know what to, to do with all of them. But I buy them thinking, oh, that's going to be a cute project. Like, I won't carry it as a purse because I need my purse to be more secure. Um, and I won't use it as like a school bag, like as a teacher bag, because uh, I don't want, um, I, I, need, I need more pockets. But they're great as project bags. I just don't have a ton of whips all at once. I could maybe use them. I just, just really honestly thought about this. I could use them as planning bags and like plan my projects. Uh, maybe that would help me get things done. I don't know. But anyway, uh, and then I want to get some hooks and things for all of these lovely things. Like this is a shawl that I made. Um, this is a blanket that Amanda sent me. My daughter did take it um, at one time. Um, but she um, brought it down and put it in a chair that I have by my bookshelves and then left it there. And I was like, no, I don't want it to get messed up. So I moved it. Um, but this cabinet I really struggle with because this was a, an entertainment center. So this black piece here actually pulls out because the TV is meant to be, uh, there's meant to be a TV on it. So I have all these bins that have yarn, so acrylic and wool. Um, and then up here I have some cream cotton, more acrylic, more wool. Um, and then down on the very bottom, which I don't know that you can see. Move that box out of the way. Down here. Oh, yes. That's my desk. Um, this is where I had the... Wavy waffle stitch blanket. I had a whole bunch of that yarn in there. So I do have some space in there where I can put a few things. Um, but I have, I have to, I need to organize it, you guys. Uh, so I do have space where I can put things. It's just taking that time, right? Um, and then, okay, we're gonna move again. But this time I'm gonna pick up the camera, maybe. No, I'm just going to have to move this because my microphone cord is not as short or not as long as I need it to be. It's pretty short. Yeah, see, I have all these little notions pouches and everything. So I need to organize all of those. Um, so this basket here has yarn in it um, and other little things. So like when I have my Etsy shop, I probably actually, I have a, I do have a place for these. I just need to put them in there. Um, Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. When I had my Etsy shop, um, I would, uh, ooh, that one's stuck a little. I would, uh, set up, um, things to take pictures and I have like a photo box and all kinds of stuff. And I got these at like Home Depot, just really cheap. Um, because if you're just buying one, <laughs> they're like, I don't know, 69 cents or something. Um, but then down here underneath this basket that I, I want to show you, but I can't really these are different scraps. Now these are not inventory because they're literally just, if I'm doing an amigurumi and like, for instance, if I need some yellow for something, I'll come in here and grab this little ball. Um, or let's say I want to make a washcloth and I'm like, I just need a washcloth real quick. I'll come into here, grab some cotton scraps, but then I have another drawer that has acrylic scraps. I see this is a box that Nero knocked over. This is how I know he was in here because it just has pieces of things in it, like little pins and things, and hooks, pineapple pin, little bag, it's a top to a hat. This is, I need, I need this, like, now. <laughs> this is from uh, Pink Sheep. So, it was sitting up here somewhere, and he jumped up here and knocked it off. Uh... But anyway, so then I have acrylic bin down here, and I have a wool bin, so I try not to blend, but they're all scraps. Um, and then I showed you the boxes underneath the desk, uh, well, some of them, and then out in my, uh, we're going to turn again, out in my big storage area outside of this room, I actually have, I'm so sorry, we're going to figure it out, guys. Mm, sorry. Um, okay, 
maybe. Nope. Anyway, out in my big storage area, I have um, my big tote for yarn scraps and my crochet hooks for my classes. So I'm hoping that I can um, organize some of that today. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. But I did bring some things downstairs. So I, leaving for the States, I have so many things that I need to do. Um, and one of the things that I need to do is move all of the things that I just have sitting around on a normal basis uh, out because people are coming um, to take care of my cat and my house. So um, I don't want them to have like a bag in the way or something like that. So anything that like my yarn that I just had sitting for projects, things that I finished, like my uh, Granny Speck, my Ripple Blanket, I had all of that yarn that I hadn't used sitting in, in the project bag again, but it's just sitting in the living room because that's where I was working on it. But ideally, I'd like to get this space where I can come down and work in here. Um, I won't be able to do lives in here necessarily because it's all the way at the back of my house and there is no signal. But I can do videos and that's what I would love to do. I'd love to get it set up. I have a desk in here. I don't have a chair. It's one thing I don't have. I do have an office chair, but it is too big for this space. I have the perfect chair that I want, but it is very expensive. So, um... I don't have $400 to spend on a chair. Whoa, that got blurry fast. Let's see if that changes. I don't know what happened, you guys. It got super blurry. Maybe I just spun around too fast. Oh, okay, well, we'll give it a minute and see if it changes. If not, it'll just be blurry for a little bit. I'm trying to let it focus slowly. Ah, oh, there we go. Slow movements. I turned around to get a drink and it was a little blurry. Looked like, honestly, that's what things look like when I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> so the, all that blurry, that's what I see when I don't have my glasses on. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway. I want this to be a workable space. I want to be able to sit in here. Um, but the chair that I want costs $400 because it's, um, it's that, like the meditation chair where, um, it has a thing that swings, uh, sorry, <laughs> I was laughing so hard I started crying. Um, it has a thing that swings in front for your legs. So one of the reasons why I don't like to sit in regular chairs is because my right ankle will swell if I'm just sitting for too long um, and it will stiffen up where I can't get back up and just walk I have to stand up and like flex my ankle and move it around and then I can walk so I can't just stand straight up from sitting and walk especially if I've been sitting for a long time uh, so that chair has the thing that comes in front or on the side so I can keep my legs elevated um, but it's, it's an expensive chair and, um, uh, I have too many other things going on right now to get something like that. So I'm trying to find something that I know that I can sit here long term and work on, um, or work in. So it needs to be comfortable. Number one, um, I may need like a footstool to go along with it. Um, and it can't be super big. So like the office chair that I have, it's an office chair. So it's got a really tall back, um, padded. I, I mean, I, if you saw my videos when I was in the U.S., that's the chair that I was sitting in, the black one. And um, it also is having trouble staying up. So like the compression that keeps the pump, um, when you pump it to adjust it, it is dying <laughs> so it will go down occasionally just in the middle of sitting in it it'll be so anyway um like i said it's too big for this space so i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do 
And then the other thing that I need to think about is I have a desk in here that you're currently sitting on. Um, and then I have a desk where I have my, um, um, like library stuff, my books, um, all that kind of stuff. Cause last summer when I was working, I was working down here because it was significantly cooler down here, uh, than it was to work upstairs, uh, when I was doing summer school. So I am trying to, um, I guess I could be doing things while I'm talking, but, uh, I don't know where to start. <laughs> um, okay. I'll start with bags, but I could, uh, I was thinking about consolidating the desks and getting rid of the desk that's in here. Um, but then I run the risk of, and I know this is going to sound very, very odd, but it's going to run the risk of combining things. So I have a lot of things that I use for work that I bring home in the summertime um, so that they don't disappear, which is sad to say, but it's true. Uh, and I did that even when I was in the States, even when I worked, when I wasn't working for um, the military affiliate, affiliated schools, things just have a habit of walking away or getting misplaced or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I don't want some of my things to do that. So I bring them home, but if I bring that desk in here, um, I do run the risk of like not having space for my crochet things because I already have things in that, in that space. Does that make sense? So I already have all of those things together in that space. Um, so downsizing obviously would be something I would need to do, but then the whole point is to organize my crochet things and I don't want to um, have to deal with not having space for those things. So, you know, I, I'm not trying to separate the two things, but I'm trying to make sure I have enough space for everything because I have too many things, obviously I have too many things. That's just, that's the reality of it. But, um, so that is my yarn room tour. Um, just getting some bags and things together so that I can do this. I am going to, um, stop this video here in just a little bit and I am going to, um, do another video where I am organizing things. Sorry. I'm reaching behind the camera to grab some things because this actually goes with a bag that I have, oh, not that, this actually goes with a bag that I have, um, my, the, this is a paint, paintbrush holder, but it will actually hold some crochet hooks, not some of the big, like, Leetherco ones that I have, but some of the other ones, so, um, I have that, there's some stitch markers, and then this is a little set that I won from a giveaway, and then this is lip balm or anywhere balm it says, but this stuff is amazing. Liquid stitch. I got this in the States when I'm working with like Amigurumi. Um, I did some Pokemon and there was one, oh God, I can't remember the name of it, but it had all these tails and I could, I could not even crocheting them. I couldn't get them to stay where I needed them to stay. So I glued them in position. Um, and then this is great for like holding down, um, pieces. So like on the cardigan that I'm working on, I had to cut the yarn in some places cause it got all knotted up. And, um, so now I have these weird like flyaway pieces and I use just a teeny tiny touch of this and it keeps them down. Um, but anyway, uh, I want to organize all of these things. Oh, there I go blurry again because I'm moving too much. Sorry. What's in here? I don't even know. Oh, yes, I do. Stickers and such. Okay. Um, so I want, I want to do all the things. I want to get my hooks organized. I want to get my yarn organized so that I can bring in the things. Because I have, just a second, I have one, two, three, four five bags of things. They're not full, but it's like yarn from projects or 
other things that I need to put away. And um, like this bag, for instance, has the bag that I was making for the dodgy, um, dodgy bag now. This is what I had started with and I ended up not using. I did use some of this. Um, these are the remaining balls from that. So that will go in the scrap bin, but it's got, I mean, I never, I never cleaned it out. I never cleaned it out. So I need to do that and I need to put these away and all the stuff. Like I have this bag from traveling and I did washcloths in this little Doctor Who bag. It has all kinds of cotton in there. I need to put it away. I need to put it away. So, um, I'm going to make some videos cleaning uh, my yarn room and I'm going to spread them out over the course of um, the time that I'm gone. So, by the time that you see them um, all, my yarn room will hopefully be better. Not 100%, but it'll be better. And it will hopefully... Um, be closer to a workable space. I don't know if it'll be a workable space yet, but it'll be closer to one. So that is the beginning of the organization process. And um, I hope you enjoy the journey. Thank you so much. And as always, be well, be safe, and be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Ciao, Bella. <laughs>